Hi everyone, this is Madoka. Konnichiwa, minasan. Madoka des. I am a Japanese living in the US. Sebastian is at work and he is in Minnesota. But we can do it. So let's have fun together. Let's, so let's have fun. We can do this. So let's have fun together. <laughs> Today, I'm going to share my first experience of an American traditional Halloween! I'm a ghost! I'm a ghost! I'm a ghost! She found her pumpkin! Oh my God. Nice big round front. That's what I want. Nice. Okay, perfect for the face. Let me make sure he stands upright. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. He stands well. Okay. Okay. Smooth ski and uh, stance, stance. Yeah, you want to make point. sure that it doesn't go like tip over. Some pumpkins don't lean like this if you stand up. Oh. This one leans pretty well. The back nice. isn't so flat. Like, see how flat this, this guy is in the back? Yes. Or like this guy, he's got a flat back. Oh. But this one, I think. I'm taking this guy. Yes. Oh, we got the pumpkins. We got the pumpkins. We got the nice surface and staple pumpkins. Yes. The pumpkin has a pretty mold. <laughs> oh, they also have red pumpkins. Yeah, those are pretty wild. Mm -hmm. As a comparison, where I'm from, Okinawa, Japan, we actually do have a different type of Halloween. At the Mihama American Village, there is a huge event. The town is decorated with tons of spooky stuff. All kinds of generations wear Halloween costumes and enjoy the atmosphere in the area. Although we may have a great time, there is no concept of trick or treating. Knocking door of neighbors and having a delicious snack is completely foreign to me. First, in the American culture, they carve a pumpkin. It's a Halloween day, 31st October 2017. <laughs> Today's guest is my aunt! Shadow! Hello! <laughs> yes, and I'm Uncle here. Brian! <laughs> I was very fortunate enough to learn how to do it. I'm going to show you how to curb a pumpkin. These are some items to prepare. We put the cover two layers on the table because pumpkin produces juice when you curb it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, cut the top off. And when you cut the top off, you want to be able to put the lid back on. So we're going to carve it at an angle. So it, the lid will be on an angle so it can sit back. It's very tricky. We're going to pump it at an angle. You'll feel it go all the way through. More horizontal. More horizontal. A little bit more. Right there. Yep. Right. That's the angle. <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's going to take a little practice. Oh, okay. Very hard. Easy job. You want me to help you? <laughs> you have to wiggle it. Wiggle it out. Wiggle. There we go. Wiggle. <laughs> Try to make sure you stay equal distance all the way around. <laughs> okay. Wow. You want to make sure the pumpkin will fit. The lid will fit back on. How do Americans learn make this? Um, it's followed by tradition at home. Um, my parents did it with me. My parents 
their parents did it with them. Um, it was just something that everybody does every year. And you, well, I don't think they let you carve pumpkins at school, Ooh, but um, I think they might. Well, they have like demonstrations. There we go. Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh, it's like pulling up a skull. Awesome. Ready to Yay! So now we're gonna carve maybe be about leave about an inch and a half. This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. She has spooky music playing. <laughs> fun begins and we start scooping out all the stuff. <laughs> so we use a spoon. Okay. So I got some stuff on it. Okay. This is so fun. This is very exotic. I wanted to do it. Yay. This is my bucket list. <laughs> that is good. Alright, dump her over. Whoa. Get in there a little bit. Yeah. More? More? More. So you got a good start. All the strings and the seeds as much as possible. Yes. Can you eat this pumpkin? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. This is actually the pumpkin that they make pies with and the stuff you buy in the can. Oh. This is the actual raw pumpkin. I'm sure you probably cook it up like a, like a squash. Oh. Roast it in the oven. It's making it the inside of the meat. Meat. The meat of the, of the pumpkin. With all the seeds. People like to, you know, pick the seeds apart and then you roast them. Then you salt them and roast them and they taste really good. Yeah, it's like going brain surgery. <laughs> I know. You should work in the Egyptian era where they used to bomb the uh, pharaohs. Yep. Pull out all their organs. <laughs> but typically the, the pumpkin grows in a circle. Mm -hmm. So if you find you might find it easier to scrape horizontally. I'm going to get big biceps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Okay, this, is, need a this is the goal. This is what you, you're going for. Oh, clean. I'm going to try and get Very it as nice. clean as you can. Maybe you use a shovel? A spoon. Nice. <laughs> There's certain footwear that you wear when you carve pumpkins. They are special slippers. They have ears on them. Look at the head on that thing. It's huge. Look at these sharp tools. You have to be certified. It's like filleting a puffer fish. That's when you know you're working. When you're kneeling on the floor and praying that you get it. Eat the ducky balls. New technique we've learned. I'm using gravity. I've never seen this technique before, but it's kneeling on the floor. <laughs> technique. See, you learn things from other nationalities when they try something. <laughs> it's just insane. Yeah, it's just insane. <laughs> the reason why we are doing this today is because if we curl pumpkin a while before on the event, pumpkin shrinks due to lack of water inside. All right, so now I would say let's get a paper towel and wipe him off. And then and we'll get rid of these seeds and everything so we have a clean surface. Ready, go, wait. Hey, not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> this is a pumpkin master set. There are patterns you can pick. They show the level of skill by how many pumpkins on the top. If it's four pumpkins, that means it's very difficult. It's one pumpkin, that means it's, it's a little easier. Uh, give her a 10. Give her, give her a difficult one? A 10. <laughs> This is October 31st. This is Pumpkin Ghost. This is Jacorantan Kapo. I'm going to do Wicked Jack. I picked this one. Cat and the pumpkin. Okay, 
Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to put, find the, the best spot on your pumpkin, mm -hmm. find your, your front, and you're going to make sure it's up high enough so where you can see it, the top part of your design. And we're going to tape it so it doesn't move. And we're going to tape it all the way around. I Try not to tape over anything that's dark. Okay, right? okay. Because the dark gray is what we're going to carve. And then when you get to the parts that are going to be wrinkly, try and flatten them out and make a tiny little crease in the paper just so we know we can get to the parts that are dark gray. That's where we're going to be push pins. I'm a ghost. The goal is to push pin this whole pattern, and that's going to take us a little while. So that's where we're at all along. When you get to a point, that's a hard part because you got to make sure that point can be carved out later with your pumpkin knife. Okay, and if you want, you can keep you can keep your pattern just to make sure you remember what it looks like because when you take it off, you should see the outline with your dots. Oh. Next comes the part where we use the little saw. There are three different sizes of saws, small, medium, large. And my recommendation is for the areas that are very pointy, where you have to be very careful where a point is, I would use your smallest to be very careful with my gauge, obviously, like a surgeon. So if you get to a big area and you know it's a big chunk you're going to be cutting out, you can use a big saw. You want to be able to push go. Push it through. And then obviously you can see where I need to do some cleanup inside and we save that for the end. You just polish it up when you're done. But that's what happens. Clean edge. Yes. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> that's what did you mean? That's so good. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to look like we just spent so much time and we're so good. Whoever came up with these little carving tools was a genius. I find the smallest saw gives me the most control. How much does it usually cost to buy a pumpkin? Normally they charge by the pound, anywhere from 49 cents a pound to 79 cents a pound. And I think our pumpkins were well over. So if we had a 10, 15 pound pumpkin, that would have been over $10. The fact that we got two really nice pumpkins, any size for $10, we did well. We are lucky. I think the key is waiting until the 28th <laughs> <laughs> to go get your pumpkin. I think I'll keep doing this all the way, all the way until I die. This is something I will never get tired of doing, <laughs> no matter how old I am. I agree, I love this. Top. You don't want to clean off too much because you want to make sure the top doesn't fall in. Let's see if my top still fits. It's like putting a puzzle piece together. Where's there it goes? Okay, like here, I kind of trimmed from the outside. You can shave that off because it'll help the light come through as well. From the outside in. He's gonna make a hole. How about the air come right nice. up? Nice. This is gonna be oxygen root. That's right. Oxygen. Now the hot has holes. Mine's crooked, <laughs> but I kind of like that about them. Yes, we do. My arms are sore. Absolutely. <laughs> Too. I feel little cute trick or treaters coming to our house. So that was my first experience of the 31st October. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. Take care. We appreciate your support. See you soon.